All right, so like I hinted at in a previous video, I wanna talk a bit about how long a sword fight would last. Because there are very different ideas. On the one hand, you have the Hollywood version or the fantasy version where fights just drag on for a long time to build tension and be more entertaining to watch and all of that. On the other hand, you have the opposite extreme where people think that fights in general would just end like that in, in a second or two. Like somebody moves and you know, the other person counters immediately and boom, that's it. Both are potentially off. It, like always, it depends. But what does it depend on? Well, for one, it depends on the skill involved. If you have an experienced sword master going up against a noob, yeah, it's most likely gonna be over like that because the skill gap is too large. If you have two inexperienced people, it may also end fairly quickly. There's a good chance that both wound or kill each other. Uh, if you have two highly skilled swordsmen, it can last for quite a while because if both of them know what they're doing, know a variety of techniques and have a sense of self-preservation, which you should have in a sword fight, they're gonna be very cautious. For one, they're gonna start kind of feeling each other out. So they may throw a number of cuts out of measure, which by the way, this is one of those things that people often jump on as, hey, you're not supposed to cut at their sword, you're supposed to cut at the opponent, which is true. You do want to aim at the opponent instead of the sword, except when you don't. Uh, when would you not? Well, there are some techniques where you use, for example, a krumpau, crooked strike against the opponent's blade to get an overbind and then you wind from there or you strike from there, etc. That for one. And the other thing is you might want to strike out of measure at a distance where you're not in danger just to see what the opponent is doing. I might just, you know, cut a little short out of measure just to see, are you gonna react? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna cut into it? Are you gonna parry? What is, what is, what are you doing? And by the way, if, if you do that and the opponent just stands there like, then you know that you're dealing with somebody who's experienced or worse, if they allow you to cut out of measure and they see you overcommit, they will just come in and either counter cut or thrust. Again, if they're two experienced sword fighters, neither of them might really fully commit at least to the torso and head. They might aim for the arms, absolutely, because that's safer for them. Whenever you, you aim for the opponent's head or torso, yours are within range too. So if you go for a lethal target, they can go for lethal targets. I recently recorded some sparring footage with rounds that went on for quite a while because we were both cautious. We were just trying to find a way in past the defense, uh, going for binds and feeling out the situation and then sometimes maybe just exiting out and, and retreating to just form a better plan. And so this way it can go on for a while. You might attempt little snipes at the opponent's hands or arms and if they're good enough, they won't let that happen. And then based on how the opponent acts, you may eventually form a plan of how to get past the defense, exploit openings, etc. And then it happens and then it can happen pretty quickly, but there is a buildup to that. So a fight, it depends, basically it depends on the intensity of a fight. A fight can go on at lowest intensity for a while and kind of feeling each other out. You see that in MMA and boxing, etc. as well, where at first they just kind of probe a little bit and, and check each other's defense, etc. And then it gets more serious. So it's good that more people now are aware of the brutal efficiency of historical sword fighting and realizing that it can go this quickly but you shouldn't overstate the point. It can end very quickly, but it doesn't have to. It also depends on the equipment, of course. If you're fighting with a rapier or even a small sword, you might be able to take some wounds and keep fighting, and then it might drag on even longer, as opposed to a long sword where light wounds are not necessarily as likely, or with messers, 
for example, you can receive some serious cuts with those that would just end it rather quickly. So it does depend on that and of course on whether it's an armor dual, for example, that can take even longer depending on how it goes. Or again, it can be over quickly. If you know better how to exploit the gaps in the armor than the opponent, you wrestle them to the ground, you thrust into the gaps, that's it. But expect that generally to take longer unless it involves pole arms, then it can also be over more quickly. So unfortunately, once again, as with so many things, there is no quick and easy, simple answer that covers everything. It depends. As frustrating of an answer as that may be, but that's accurate. It depends. It's not the same every time. Anyway, I hope you found that at least somewhat illuminating, even though it's not the clear cut answer you might have hoped for. Thanks for watching and have a good one, folks.